Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. So today I have my June favourites for you and I'm going to start off with apologising for the weird background and the lighting and everything. I'm filming this at 10 o'clock at night. Let's get started. I'm going to talk about makeup items in this one and then I think tomorrow, because I think it's a little bit too late, um, tomorrow I'm going to talk about the golden nuggets of my my favourites, so um, more body care things and hair care, um, so makeup. I have been loving, and it's been a favourite of mine in the past, the MAC Cheeky Bronze, the Mineralized Skin Finish. I have it on tonight as well. Um, I did reapply it so you could kind of see. So it is a bronze blush, but it has that shimmer, so it has a highlight to it, and um, then it also has like a bit of a pinky contrast so it works as not only a bronzer but a blush too and it's so pretty in the evening and I hope it reflects on camera. Um, obviously if you're under a bright light it will really strobe but actually in normal light it's just um, candle lit and very very pretty. So this is what it looks like. Um, and I have been using this even in my last month as well. So um, you can see like it used to be a dome. <laughs> it's completely flat. And I've been using it with the Sigma Powder Blush Brush F10, which is just the perfect um, stippling sort of br brush. And then I just pat it on. And what I've actually been doing, I've dragged it on a little bit more forward than I normally do, but I'm really focusing it up here. So not even on the cheekbone, but quite, quite near the temple and pulling it a little bit. Um, and I, I just, it just raises me up a bit and I'm making sure that I don't blend too much um, to make it round or anything, but it's just kind of like at an acute angle. That way um, it really serves its purpose as a sort of bronzer as well and a sort of like almost like a contouring blush highlight combination. So love that. Another thing I've been loving is my lipstick at the moment and it's the NARS Pencil, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. And it is, I, I don't know why, but I'm just really into red lips at the moment. I think it's because I'm doing a nude eye. So it's a really soft, soft crayon. And it's a beautiful red. It's a sort of a wine red. And um, you have to be quite good with applying this quite nicely so that it gets your whole lips and your lips don't look too small because I find that that can happen with red lips, although it can be like, it can look sharp, it can almost look, make your lips look quite small and pouty, which I like, but um, I definitely feel like you need to, which is quite easy with a pencil or crayon, um, is to really get every little bit. Um, and then it just stays on because it's sort of velvety matte, it stains. And so I found that this has been a great evening for drinks type of, um, lip pencil and it really just ties in a look and um, gives a bit of freshness. I'm always wearing sort of like mauvey colours, berry colours or, or nothing or just lip balm in the day so it's really nice when I go out or um, I have time to just kind of revamp and freshen up my look to add a red lipstick and um, I feel more polished. Another red lipstick that I do recommend is the um, Mona lipstick in uh, by NARS. It's the Audacious lipstick and this is more of a brick red um, and that is also beautiful. So it's a little bit more browner but um, it's it's stunning. It's really stunning and I love the consistency of this. It's a lot more um, creamier. Okay and then um, oh yeah and the NARS makes your teeth look really white. Um, I have recently bought the Peach Palette, and I know I'm so late on this bandwagon. Um, I love Too Faced eyeshadows. My favourite is the Natural Matte. I talk about this, I've talked about this for years, and it's just the matte palette, and I, it is the most perfect, perfect one for day workwear and smoking up for the evening, for holidays, for that nude look, that no makeup makeup look. Um, to brighten up your eyes, to make your eyes look huge. This is the palette to go for. I will forever, forever recommend this palette. It's for everybody, even for someone like me who really sticks to the neutrals. It has good enough like um, shades here that 
are colours and so um, add a bit of dimension to your look. However, I wanted to try the peach palette only because it smelt like peaches. Oh, it smells so good. My sister had it and I fell in love and I've been really, really into the sort of metallics. Um, I just think in the summer they make you look so glowy and dewy and they have really beautiful mattes, so perfect for me. But they also have those stunning sort of metallic shimmers, which I love, and they just make your eyelids glisten. And I think for a bronze look, for an evening date night look, um, and then they even have some you know, out, not out there colours, but more daring colours like the green, which I love for any eye colour, but especially brown eyes. And then even a purple and a sort of midnight blue with purple specks that I tend to steer away from. However, they are very, very pretty and I think they are the right tone that I would enjoy them really like to place them underneath um, the lash line um, as a sort of like... Um, smoky effect or to just add a, a hint of color um so it's not too out there i mean you definitely could put this over over on top of your eyelids and give a really sultry look um i have a date coming up so i think i'm going to play around with this and actually put these on my eyelids but yeah i'm gonna have a play i might record it and just put them up and then you guys can tell me which style you think will look better um so yeah uh, so this is this. I love it. Then, um, my Beauty Blender. I love this thing. It's so good. If you haven't tried it, try the Beauty Blender. I just buy the nude ones from now, just so when it's stained with foundation it doesn't look so bad. Um, but I do like the baby pink one too. Um, I just dampened this with a makeup setting spray. Uh, that way it's like soaked up enough and it en enlarges well because of the water but then it's putting on a sort of like the face mist in a patting form and therefore so you're kind of pushing in primer as such onto your face so it's only just good stuff and then you put your foundation on and then I spray it again and then I just dab and like blot it in so these two are like my favorites of the month. This is the Fix Plus by MAC. It's in the coconut scent, which is really light. It doesn't smell like how you would assume a coconut summer smell to smell like. I can't kind of do those. They, they smell kind of off to me at the end, but this one smells lovely. And I've really enjoyed it for fixing my makeup. It's really just kept it um, pretty flawless. So these are my other favorites. And then this um, concealer by Chanel. This is the Corrector Perfection Concealer in number 30. And I think what I really like about this concealer is the fact that it's the right shade and the consistency of it. So I put this underneath my eyes. Let's do it now. And it covers flawlessly. It is full coverage, but so light. And it's definitely one that you don't um, see any creasing so no fine lines are visible. It doesn't even seem like you've got anything underneath your eye, eyes. It's It just blends so well. And even though my foundation is a different brand to this concealer, um, they blend seamlessly. And it's pretty darn flawless. And I also feel like I can layer it, which is nice. So I might put it on in the morning and touch up at night without having to take off my whole makeup. So there you have it. I don't know if you would have noticed or seen a difference. I will see when I look back on editing, but I love this and I highly recommend it. It is great for anywhere else and um, not just your under eyes. Um, so if you find the right shade, which I always say it's the key to any of these um, items like um, concealers and foundations and powders and setting things, once you've got the right shade, then you can really deduct whether it is a good thing for you or not. Give me one second. Then, um, what else has been my favourite? Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. I, I, well, it's actually, it's actually my Becca Shimmering Light Skin Perfector. This is in the shade, um, well, it's not a shade. It's called Backlight Priming Filter. And I've really been enjoying this in combination with my Giorgio Armani Lasting Silk UV Foundation. 
and it's SPF 20 and I'm in the shade 6.5. Together they have worked so beautifully and um, I have definitely noticed when I don't have this priming filter on, my makeup doesn't stay as pretty. And it's really nice because it feels like a sort of light cream. So it's like an added moisturization. And I only place it like on my cheeks, a little bit on my chin, my nose, and then kind of on the sides of my forehead rather than the middle, just because I am naturally prone to having an oily T-zone and in the summer. So I love this one. And I have been trying the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base Lumiere in radiant pink um, which also feels as nice but I prefer this one just because I think it gives you a more of a as it says a backlight and um, just almost more camera ready versus this one although it's great as a primer I don't feel like it really illuminates any more than what my foundation does this one just gives you that added like dimension so that's why I can say that this is truly my favourite. It's sort of been a favourite of mine in the past as well, but just as a comparison. And then this foundation has been so great. Um, the Lasting Silk, as I said, and um, it's quite runny. And I use a spatula, which I believe was just an eye from an eye cream, like so. And I pump it on here and then I just dotted around and then with my beauty blender I really blend it in together so it works great with that it also works well with the Real Techniques Expert face brush so if you're not a beauty blender type of girl you're still a brush girl and be like hey you don't always talk about the beauty blender this is one of my most favorite foundation brushes and um, it works really really well for that too and it lasts nice and it gives it almost like a dewy look um, and so your skin just looks naturally radiant but you don't look greasy you really don't and it lasts nicely I feel wearing glasses it does rub off a little bit on my nose area and also in the summer months when it's especially when we had that heat wave I've definitely needed to set it and the only downside to that is that if you don't don't buy the sort of like mm, uh, like the friend of this so if you don't buy like a Giorgio Armani powder or if you don't use a translucent powder then any other powder kind of changes the finish so what I mean is that I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury this is the airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder number two medium this has a hint of color it's not too bad but even this finish and being very very delicate on the skin mattifies my look which is nice but um but it also um changes the finish of the foundation so while my foundation lasts a little bit longer like in the in that little area when it's super hot um it does change it a little bit so i what i'm trying to say is get a translucent powder or get the accompanying shade um, powder compact of the Giorgio Armani. Um, I'm sure they've done it so they work cohesively together. And then the last two items that I have to talk about that have been my favourite of the month, can I find them, are these Bite Lipsticks. Oh my goodness. So my sister got these for me from New York. I don't know where you can get Bite from apart from Sephora, um, as in in England. But I, I think, I don't know if Cult Beauty does it or not. I'm just looking outside and the moon's out and it's so beautiful. And this little duo compact, well first of all I love the size because as much as I'm a lipstick girl, I never finish my lipsticks, very rarely, and they're great for the clutch. So, as I said, I'm going on a date, so this will be like the perfect lipsticks to bring with me. One of them, I'm not going to bring two. My favourite is, um, let me just make sure it is that one. Yeah, my favourite is Meringue, and it comes as a set, so Fig and Meringue, and they're both stunning. So Meringue is a little bit more nudie, nudie pink, but gorgeous it's still bright enough to like f give your look a fresh look and but also it just works really well for people like me who have darker lips and these sort of colors would never show um, it totally does and then fig which is almost like a more vibrant version and um, maybe more pink than nude so that is a uh, fig right there so you can see they're quite similar, but they're not. I mean, obviously if you're an addict, 
of any kind of beauty item, you know that they're not um, they're not the same. But for other people, that might look too similar. But they, they on the lips, I've got red lips at the moment, so it'd be a bit hard to show you. On the lips, they're completely different. I want them both to work. Meringue, which is a little bit more nudie on me, looks a little bit more nudie um, for work. Um, so I do have to darken up my eyes. And then meringue is just you know great for anything but it's just like that perfect daytime lipstick and it lasts beautifully and bite uh, lipsticks just last really nice they stay on well despite eating and drinking and they just finish nicely so all the creases on your lips don't show and you don't have to like constantly reapply only just maybe another one time um, just to freshen it up and to give a sharper look but they are so beautiful and I would recommend these colors they're just perfect for the summer you know it's not typically like nude nude it's not you know bronzy but it's a pink and especially against a tan or a really soft look it just makes you very girly and um, it's it's one of those lipsticks that that you don't have to think about you can just kind of put on in the taxi and then go so yeah I love those so those are my favorites now I know you're going to have picked up on a few words that I've mentioned as in I have a date and why am I talking about this so I've thought about this long and hard my channel is really about beauty and lifestyle I know a lot of you for so many years have wanted me to come a little bit more closer to the camera in terms of personal life I um, it's it's been hard it's not that I don't want to um, it's just that uh, situations are such that it's hard to be a little bit more public about certain things in my life but so I mean you all know I'm a doctor I don't go into detail of that because I really I can't and I don't want to and I know a lot of you guys want videos on my journey and advice but there's just so much out there on YouTube that I am repeating the same thing it's it's just no point in terms of love life and personal life, well, I'm mentioning this date out of other events that may have happened in my life because this is this one is very important to me. I hope they don't mind. I mean, I'm not telling you anything, but I hope they don't mind me talking about it. I really am excited. <laughs> I'm actually more than excited. This is a really an important one. So um, I want your help. You guys are my best friends. You really are. You, you know me so well. And... Um, just give me some advice like what shall I wear like for a really nice date night um what how should I like should I do like a red lip should I do a smoky eye should I go all out or should I keep it a little bit more natural chic like what is what is like the stuff that you do now I'm so out of the loop and like um I don't know how things work and like what to wear as well like jeans and heels and a cute top or do I wear like a really like cocktail -y dress or a little black dress you know like I need you guys' help. I am so, like, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. So, yeah, so when I was saying how, like, I want to mess around with the peach palette, I will do, like, a few looks, and I'll maybe not name them anything related to the date, but um, from there, if you're watching this video and you're going to watch my other ones, comment and say, Arizu, this one for your date night, or this one for your day date, or something like that. So I'm like, oh, okay, and I can refer back to it, because that would really, really help. I love I love hearing from you guys and commenting and replying back, and so it would, it would mean a lot to me. Anyway, I will talk to you guys soon. See you later. Bye.